we want to solve the given equation. For the first step, we need to clear the parentheses on the right side by distributing negative four. We have two thirds x minus one half equals, and now we distribute negative four. Negative four times three fourths x is negative three x. Let's show some work on this. Let's determine the product of negative four and three fourths. We'd have negative four over one times three fourths. Notice before multiplying, we have a common factor of four between the numerator and denominator. There is one four and four here and here. After simplifying, notice how we just have negative one times three, which is negative three, which is the reason why negative four times three fourths x is a negative three x. And then we have negative four times negative two, which is positive eight, giving us plus eight. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable terms on one side of the equation. Let's undo this negative three x by adding three x to both sides. Simplifying two thirds x plus three x is three and two thirds x, but we want this as an improper fraction. And remember, three and two thirds would have a denominator of three, and the numerator would be three times three, which is nine plus two, which is 11. And therefore, two thirds x plus three is 11 thirds x. The other way to find this sum would be to find the sum of two thirds and three. Let's also show that two thirds plus three or plus three over one. We know to add fractions, we must obtain a common denominator. Here the least common denominator is three, and therefore we write three over one as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of three by multiplying the numerator and denominator by three. Now that we have a common denominator of three, the denominator stays three, and the numerator is going to be two plus nine, which once again is 11. And then we still have minus one half equals negative three x plus three x is zero, so the right side is now just eight. And now to isolate the variable term, we have to undo the subtraction by adding one half to both sides. Simplifying, we have 11 thirds x, negative one half plus one half is zero, so we have 11 thirds x equals eight plus one half is eight and a half, but again, we want an improper fraction, eight and a half, we'll have a denominator of two, and the numerator is two times eight plus one, which is 17. We know the right side is 17 halves. Or again, if we wanted to, we could determine this sum by writing eight as eight over one plus one over two. The LCD is two. We multiply the numerator and denominator of eight over one by two. The denominator remains two, and the numerator is 16 plus one, which once again is 17. And then finally, now we multiply or divide to solve for x. 11 thirds x means 11 thirds times x. So we may be thinking we should divide by 11 thirds, but remember dividing by 11 thirds is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of three elevenths. So for the last step, we will multiply both sides of the equation by three elevenths. On the left side, we're multiplying reciprocal fractions, and therefore the product is one. One times x is x. Or showing the simplifying, there is one three and three here and here. One eleven and eleven here and here. Still giving us one times x or x. On the right side, nothing simplifies, and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators. 17 times three is 51. Two times 11 is 22. This is the solution as an improper fraction. Let's also give it as a mixed number. To find the mixed number, we divide 51 by 22. There are two 22's in 51. Two times 22 is 44. We subtract, the difference is seven. And therefore the quotient is two and seven 20 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.